Hi guys and welcome back to our DCUO Let's Play for the PS3. I am Ninja Misty and with me is... Ninja Andrew. And we are in the Watchtower because we are going to tell you guys all about modding your gear and bits and bytes and plans and complexes and elements and oh my god, it's complicated. I'm already so, confused. I don't... I'm totally befuzzled, so I'm going to uh, hand this part over to Ninja Andrew, and yeah, let's get started. All right, guys, so uh, essentially, uh, we got asked while we were in a raid recently uh, some questions about modding, and basically, we've started these villain characters, and both Ninja Misty and I are now at a stage where we want to do some modding, so... We're going to head out and we're going to show you essentially both sides of the game, a little bit about modding on each side. So right now we're going to head to each of our respective wings in the Watchtower. I'm heading to the Magic Wing, Misty to the Tech. And at level 10, it's going to give you a mission. I can't remember what it's called right now, but essentially uh, it's to come and talk to the... Uh, your contact in the uh, the wing, and they're going to give you some plans that are going to set you on your way to modding. So for me, I would come and talk to the Phantom Stranger. I know Misty's probably hanging out with Will Magnus over there at their table. And essentially, they're going to give you a set of plans. I think there's six plans that will allow you to turn bits into various color bytes, which I'll show you in a second at the table. And then he'll give you one single plan that will allow you to make a mod. And that's a very basic mod and probably something you'll never use. But essentially you want to go and talk to that person, accept everything into your inventory uh, by completing the mission, and then go into your inventory and accept each individual item so that you can then use them at the table. And I'm going to go ahead here and access the table. It is six plans. Yeah. So you've got here, and those six plans are going to be for these six different colored exobytes you can see here. Now to make an exobyte, you need eight exobits. You can see here I have 15 uh, fortified, so I have almost enough to make two fortified exobytes if I wanted to. Or I could save up and get uh, half and half, so four red and four blue obviously is going to combine and make a purple or uh four red and four yellow for orange and four blue and four yellow for green so that's your basic uh what you're going to want to start thinking about for your character because each of these are going to be used to make your various uh crafting uh equipment here so as I go down here, you're going to have, I have supplies starting at the top. Each of these is a consumable item that you can create by using various materials that you can find throughout the game. They're not exactly the, the most sought after or needed materials. So these are just kind of things you could build for fun if you wanted. But I've got here, uh, you need to use plans to get these, but you can transmute this would be to use a catalyst and uh, the red uh, aggressive exobits, and I could change my stack of red exobits into yellow and blue. Or if I keep going down here, I've got another planet tier 2 that'll change the yellow into red and blue. Or at tier 3, I've got one here that'll change the blue into yellow and red. So essentially, whatever color you have, there are plans, and each of the catalysts costs a different amount of money, but essentially you can trade them into the different colors if you so choose. But what it does is instead of doing a straight conversion like red to blue or yellow to red, you split one and it goes into two different colors. So just keep that in mind as you're doing it. So then as you go through... You're also going to find uh, plans to make colas. You can see here that it requires uh, Soda Cola Extreme plus uh, Soda Cola Enhancers. Depending on the level of the cola, it'll be like this will require Enhancer Type 4 because it's Soda Cola Remix. Um, and so you'll need to get those materials, and I'll show you where those are in just a second. But as you go through, you can see here 
I've got a various selection of mods, and I'm sure Misty does as well. Uh, and the color of the the tag at the side is going to tell you the color of the bytes that you need to make and how many of them you need in order to uh, to do this. So you can see here, level one and beta and alpha mods require single. Uh, or no, uh, level one mods require three uh, of the bytes. So you'd have to make three separate green bytes and then you could come here, get the interface and the material and you could make that mod. And each of them has a different property or combination of properties. So you essentially want to go out and look for the plans that are going to help your character the most. I know that uh, controller wants to look for vitalization, uh, healer wants to look at restoration, uh, tank wants to look at uh, defense and health and dominance, uh, and DPS wants to look at might and precision and different stuff like that. So that's just a general overview of like your table. You're going to basically come here with whatever plans you have, look at how many it takes to make it. You can see level 4 plan is going to take 12 exobytes and a lot of materials but you can either try to get these plans yourself or you can maybe try to shout out and see if somebody else can make the, the uh, mod for you um, but be careful and you know I would recommend going to finding somebody that you trust people. yeah because you don't want somebody to steal your materials. Now, granted, you can complain, and DC will look back in the chat, and they can remedy that for you, but that's just a lot of time you have to expend to go through that process. Yes, so definitely good to find maybe somebody who is reliable for uh, making some mods for you, and you could bring them your materials, and hopefully they'll be able to help you out, so... That's just a tip, definitely. But Misty is definitely right. You want to watch out for losing your materials somehow. Uh, so next up here, right next to the crafting table, there are three vendors. And I'm going to go from right to left. So the first vendor here that I'm going to go to, and I'm going to access him right now, he's got all of your materials. So these are equipment interfaces. You would need those to make a mod that you were going to socket into armor. You can see alpha, beta, all the way up to four, uh, or level four, and or level five, actually. And uh, you would need to have plans in association with those to use them. Uh, toolkit I think that's for making some of the consumables. Uh, you sure. Also, you also, yeah, I think I think so. The recovery kit alpha, uh, which will recover some of your bits from a mod that you've already socketed, but I think that there are better recovery kits out there, so alpha is probably not the best one to use in the game. Uh, the best ones probably come from Promethean lockboxes, just in case anybody's wondering. Uh, and I'm going to show one of those in a second. So... Uh, then you have catalysts. Catalysts are used to exchange one type of bit for another, depending on the level of it. So some of those, some of these we haven't really had to use too many of, but they're there. Uh, and then the soda cola enhancers, and those are going to be used to combine with the soda cola extremes to make even better colas. So I can use these to make sort of cool zeros at the moment as my highest level cool as I can make on my characters. Um, and then you have some more, four more crafting materials. These are going to be used for making uh, various uh, consumables or uh, the last two are actually used to make runic armor from tier 4. And you can see it costs uh, 3,750 marks of triumph to buy a rune carver. So it's going to cost you a little bit to get that item. Just throwing that out there. So then right next to him, you also have um, another store. And if you go in there, you're going to find all of the plans for basic mods. Uh, alpha, level 1, some of the colas, and then... Uh, okay, there's plans to make a recovery kit level 4 and level 5 here. That's probably not too bad. You know... Level 5. 
Sure, if you have a bunch of extra marks of reality laying around. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So just so that you guys can see here, and all of these go towards your feet for collecting so many plans, as well as there are some plans and mod equipment that you can get in Central City that's exclusive to Central City. So keep your eyes out while you're in there. So also, um, just last vendor here uh, is going to be your soda cola vendor and this is so that you can buy the extremes that you need in order to combine them to make uh, your sodas at the table and that's it go ahead I was going to say you also get um, soda cola extremes if you're turning in your wanted posters outside of the police stations after you do PVP that's a very you get good soda tip. colas yeah it's sort of like free soda colas so as, as long as you pick up that that poster, you can get a supply of free colas to turn into better colas if you're looking for them. Exactly. So that's a really good tip. And uh, so the last thing I'm going to do here, uh, after collecting and farming in my exobit farming episode, I I went ahead and I've already exchanged a lot of my uh, bits into bytes, and then it traded them for different colors so that Misty and I can put together the materials that we needed. You can see here for two level 5 mods, but I need some more bytes. Now, I already made a, uh, and socketed a mod that I put into my uh, tier 4 armor here. So what I'm going to do, and do you have one as well? Are you going to do this as well? Um, or are you going to wait? I... I'm going to wait, I think, because I thought I had my exceptional recovery kits, Handy. and I don't know where they are, actually. Mm hmm. So, yeah, I can't, I don't know where they are. Okay, I'm just going to use mine real quickly, and that'll give me enough that we can go over in mods. So I'm just going to do that real quick. All right, is that right? Or do you want... Yeah. We get back um, here for Oh, wait. No, no, no. Okay. Hang on. I found them. Okay. So Sweet. wait, and we'll pick it back up. Okay. We can cut out that little part. Yeah, totally. I'll come back over here. All right. You can go ahead and bring it back. Okay, guys. So Misty and I have now gotten together enough materials so that we can go and make our mods uh, over on our other characters. And you can see here, I need just a few more uh, bytes to make that. So I actually have a mod that I had already sl uh, slotted into my tier 4 armor. Let me use an exceptional recovery kit. This is one out of the uh, Prometheum lockbox uh, to remove the mod and get my bytes back. Uh, you can see it says exobite yield 66 to 100 percent. So it's going to give me anywhere between 66 percent of my bites back to 100 percent. And you're going to use one as well, Misty. Yes. Okay. So we're going to use. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, I'm going to do it now, and we'll see how many we get back. Okay. Let me ask you this. On mine, it says recovery will destroy the mod, but equipment will remain intact. Where are you seeing? that it tells you you'll get 66% back. It says it on the actual recovery kit itself. Oh, I remember. Okay. You have to take this to the table. Yes. Okay. Do I need something specific to... No, you just slot it in, go up, tab over to recovery, gotcha. and you put in the kit, and then you put in the item you want to pull it from. Ninja I just wanted to make sure... Master, what... I just wanted to make sure we were looking at the same thing. There we go. Okay, so okay. I'm totally... I've slotted them both in, and I'm going to hit recover now. I'm hitting it too. Okay, so I got ten yellow bites. Okay, and I got eight. Okay. So I got, I think, a, few, a couple less at least than what I had. But at least now here, I have what I need. Oops. Because I need 15 uh, bytes to make a uh, level 5 mod. So I'm going to make two level 5 mods. So I'm going to pass all this material over to Misty now. And you can see here's my old tier 4. doesn't have the socketed thing anymore. I'm going to 
I can actually destroy that because I don't need um, more. What's that? Okay. Before we leave the table, I just want to say one thing really quick. Sure. Um, you guys can tab over to salvage. This is how you make your uh, simple and your complex materials. If you have any items in there that you don't need anymore, level 30 and above, you can salvage them. Just be careful because you can see here that like my Boo Jr. and my Mrs. Boo show up there. Uh, a lot of your trinkets and things that you wouldn't want to get rid of, your seasonal stuff will show up in the salvaging. So just be really careful when you're going down that list if you have a bunch of stuff that you don't actually destroy something that you, uh, that you need. Yeah. Because it's not like the store where if you accidentally sell it, you can buy it back. When it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> That's right. So just be careful. And those are going to give you, like, sort of half the materials that you need pretty much also to make your your mods. Because you need quite a few of the simple and complex materials every time that you decide to make a mod, pretty much. And, and depending on what level of gear that you're salvaging, um, once in a blue moon it'll drop you a focusing element... I know that when I've salvaged a lot of the higher gear, I have gotten uh, FE5s. That's right. So the it higher, pays to salvage your stuff. The higher the level of the gear that you're salvaging, the more likely you are to get something decent out of salvaging it. So Yes. Definitely worth it to do it the higher the level of the gear. All right, guys. So I'm going to pass this stuff over to Misty, and we're going to meet you over on our villain characters so that we can show you all about making the mods and slotting them in. And we'll see how much... These increase our character's CR when we... Okay, guys, so we are in the Hall of Doom on our villain characters, Evil Ninja Misty and Evil Ninja Andrew. And we are going to fly down here to the crafting table and make some mods, and hopefully that will boost our CR. Both of us are at 68, and we're hoping to get to 70. So let's see what we can do. That's right. And we're in the tech wing. I'm just going to follow Ninja Misty because uh, she's got the plans that's going to be making these mods. Uh, but basically, each wing in the uh, Hall of Doom has a crafting table in it, so you'll be able to find those really quickly. Okay, now let me start by saying that just like in the Watchtower, you have your stores where you can get plans, you can get the items that you're going to need, like interfaces. We've already done that. This is really, you know, kind of go time for us. We're ready to mod. So Ninja Andrew is going to give me his materials. That's right. Uh, and also, um, the Soder Cola vendor is in a different place on the villain's characters. So you're going to want to go back up to where we showed them. I'll actually fly up there in a second. There's the materials. Okay, so let's see what we can do. Let's do that first, yeah. Shall we? Alright, what I usually like to do is I just minimize everything by clicking the plus or minus next to it. Minus is going to pull all that up, so it's just easier to scroll through. For me, especially when you get a lot of plans, it's just easier. It's so you can life, see... It's terrible. Scrolling All that plans. clicking. Jesus. All right, so we're going to be creating four of the Might 5 plans. You can see here that we have, to create one, you need 15 aggressive exobytes, four complex, ten simple. You need your focusing element and then the equipment interface, which we bought from the stores right over there that we just showed you. So what you want to do is just click that square button. What? And perfect. And I got a feet. How nice. Hey. <laughs> All right. So now I am going to pass these over to a ninja Andrew. <laughs> and one thing before we slot these in. Misty and I are both on these characters. We are CR68. And we've sort of gotten all of the uh, equipment that we can get out of Central City. We've gotten all of the... We've gotten little bits of armor out of um, the police station, but we're pretty much as high as we can get with armor alone at this point without getting into actually buying Kryptonian armor. So we're seeing how much socketing two level 5 mods is going to get us up. 
See. Now, with that, well, let me stop you a second, because with that being said, you could technically mod, let's say, put, like, level 3 mods into all of this armor if you wanted to and boost your CR up, but we know that we're not going to be in this armor long at all, so we don't find it necessary to mod it. Depends on your play style. If you're taking it casual, you may want to throw some mods into the armor from Central City if you have that DLC. Even level two mods or something would probably help out if you threw like a couple, like a few level two mods in your armor. That would probably get your CR up a couple more levels if you did enough of them. Right. Okay. So I'm gonna socket. And we're and socketing can... in our rings. Yes. Because we're gonna use those for the longest. Definitely, and you can see there that both rings uh, have a slot for a red socket. And it's going to, one's going to boost my power and one's going to boost my precision. And I know Ninja Andrews are probably different. I've got both power. Okay. So by socketing either a red or an orange mod into these, you can get your socket affinity bonus. The socket affinity bonus will be different for each socket color, which is red, yellow, or blue. It'll either take the solid color or a mixed color that has one of those colors in it. And that'll give you the bonus. If you sock it, if I socketed like a blue mod into this, it would still boost my CR and my stats, but I wouldn't get the socket affinity bonus. So you want to try and make your mods the right color so that you get that bonus, because that's going to really be the best for your character. I'm CR 69. What? We went up a well- whole point. Yay! And it Yay. only took us, like, that much work. So you can see that socketing some mods is not necessarily going to improve your overall combat rating all that much, but it is going to get you some nice extra stats, and it is a way to make it a little bit less of a chore to get your character leveled up, just because these mods are now going to last us probably through most of Tier 5 until we get... So we get to Trigon and get those green drops, which will be our next set of rings. All right, we're going to come up here. (laughs) You want to come up here and show them where the sodas are? Yes. That'll probably be the last thing that we'll show for this little quick episode here. So let's go... Yeah, so you're back up here on your main level uh, in your wing... And you're going to want to come over to this vendor over here if you're buying sodas on a villain character, because this is where they're at. So just if you're looking for them to make your sodas, now you know where to go. Absolutely. So, thank you for joining us, and I'll leave the... Do you want to... Sure. Yeah. All right, guys, if you have any more questions about modding, just put them in the comments. Like, subscribe follow us tell your friends because we're still trying to get our subscription rate up to a thousand and we could really use you guys help doing that uh stay tuned because we do have our villain adventures headed your way with our super uber power leveling (laughs) that we did Mm -hmm. and join us next time for more epic and possibly evil adventures with dork ninja gaming bye